Itali, and my kitty cat Hazel, who just couldn't resist being on camera again. I think she's trying to steal the show from me. Are you trying to steal my show? <laughs> okay, so if you guys watch my video um, with me and my friend Elise and the things we made for each other, I made a cute um, yarn basket for her, and on that yarn basket, shake it off, it's okay, I put adorable little feathers. So I wanted to show you guys today, there's a, okay, well, please make yourself comfortable. Let me just get out your way. <laughs> Um, I put little feathers on the side to go with the feather fabric I put on the inside. So I thought I'd show you guys how to make these adorable reversible feathers. Hi Hazel. She's so, so picky. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to show you a tutorial on how you make these. They're really easy and super fun and you can make so many just cute colorful designs. Like I said, they're completely reversible. So they're fun. Let's get to the tutorial. <laughs> Okay, so to make these really simple feathers, all you need is some yarn. I'm using just some scrap yarn. It's just regular worsted weight, and I've got three different colors. You can use as many colors or as little as you want. I'm using a 375 hook because I found that a smaller hook just makes them look a little pretty, but you could play around with different size yarns and different size hooks to get the size and look you're looking for out of your feathers. And then the only other thing you're going to need, well, you're going to need some scissors, and you will need a... Um, what do they call that? I've done forgot. <laughs> well, a yarn needle or a tapestry needle. That's what they call it. Sorry. All right. So to start, all we do is make a slip knot. And I like to just tighten it down on my hook. You can make your slip knot however you want. And all you're going to do now is chain 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, got a little tight there. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay? Then what you're going to do, make sure I'm up nice and tight here so you guys can see. Let me focusy, focusy. There we go. We're going to chain one more. Because that's our turning chain. So chain one more. We're going to slip stitch into the second one from our hook. So go through and pull through so that's one and we're going to slip stitch a total of six times that was one so we go in through and back through two three four five and six okay let me get a little bit more slack here now what we want to do is chain seven one, two, three, four. I know that my yarn was getting caught on stuff. <laughs> Five, six, and seven. And here's what we have. This is our leaf, or our leaf. I don't know why I said leaf. Our feather, <laughs> silly. So this is like the, I guess, part that would be attached to the bird, the little, like, stem, I guess. I'm not sure what you call that. And then here is where your feathers, you're going to build your feather going up from here on these two little prongs, kind of like a little Y. So to get started, you want to remember this last stitch right here. You can kind of hold it or just remember it. You're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now you're going to put two more double crochets into the fourth chain from the hook or that double cro or that last chain that you were holding on to. So two double crochets into there. Pull through, pull through two, pull through two. And one more right into that same spot. Pull through two, pull through two. So, okay, so you have a total of three because your chain three counts as one. Now what you need to do in the next three stitches, just put in one double crochet. So one in the, the next three. So we go one, go to the next stitch, two, go to the next stitch, three. Okay? Get my slack a little there. Now what we want to do is do a three, a decrease over three. So a um, decrease three together is what it's called. Three double crochets together. Sorry, a decrease three double crochets together. Whew, so much to say. All right. So what we do is we yarn over and we go into that next stitch like we were going to do a double crochet. Yarn over, pull back through. We have three on the hook. We yarn over and we pull through two and we stop. We yarn over again. We go to the next stitch, pull through, 
and then pull through two and stop. Now we have three on the hook. Now we're going to do it one more time. Yarn over, go into that third stitch, pull through, go through two. You will have four on your hook. You just yarn over and go through, got a little stuck, go through all four. Okay? And now, see this little center here where our little Y is? You're going to put a treble crochet into that. So you yarn over once, yarn over twice, go right into this little opening, see the little opening here? Yarn over, pull through, pull through two, sorry, it curls up a little at first, pull through two, and pull through two. And that's our treble in the center. Now we want to do another decrease, but going up this side. So we want to start here, let's get nice and close, let me focus this really good, there we go. We want to start here in this first one. So we've yarned over. We go right into this first stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Pull through two and stop. Yarn over, go to the next stitch right here. Go in, yarn over, pull through. And then pull through two. Stop. You've got three on the hook. One more time. Yarn over. Go into that next stitch here. Pull through. Go through two and stop. And you've got the four, so we just yarn over and pull through all four. That is our decrease. Now we're just going to just do three double crochets. So in the next stitch, we do number one. In the next stitch from there, we do number two. And the next stitch from there, we do number three. Perfect. And then you have one stitch left. See that one last guy there? We want to match the other side, so what we want to do is put three double crochets right into there. So go one, two, and a three. There. And that is the end of our first round of the feathery part. So now all we do is chain three, one, two, Three. Hold on, it's a little out of focus. There we go. Chain three. Turn your work. And here in this stitch, which counts as the stitch, your first stitch, which is where your, your chain three is also coming out of, we want to put in two more, but only in the back loops. So let me get a nice up close here to show you guys. So here's your little V. This is the one we want to work in. I'll go right under it, that one. But we don't want to go through the front. This guy right here, right here, we don't want to go through the front, we only want to work in the back loops. From now on, we're going to be working in only the back loops. Why is my camera having such trouble focusing? There we go. So what we want to do is go into this back loop, just go right through there, and we'll pull through, put in a double crochet, that's one, and put in one more in that same spot, that counts as two. So you have a total of three in that first stitch. Now just like the last round, we're going to just do three, but only in the back loops. So. The next stitch, put in one double crochet. Go to the next stitch in the back loop only. Put in two double crochets. And then, well, one, but it counts as number two. In the next stitch, back loop only, we put in our number three. Okay. So now we are on to the three double crochets together. And again, we are only working in these back loops. So, just like before, we go through, pull through, only go through two and stop. Then yarn over, go to the next stitch, only in the back loop. Pull through, go through two and stop on that stitch. And the next one, yarn over, pull through, go through two. And you have four on the hook. Oops, sorry, we had a little pause there. That was weird. <laughs> uh, four on the hook, we just pull through all four. Okay, so now here's where the pattern starts to change a little. So we're going to do a treble again. Let me refocus something. Okay. Yarn over once, yarn over twice, but instead of going into the center, we actually want to find that center treble we did. And we're going to do a front post, which means going in from the side and coming out, yarn over and pull through like that. And you'll have four on the hook. You go through two. You have three on the hook. Go through two. Now you have two. Go through two. So front post treble there is what we did. 
So now we're going to do our decreases. Now here's where you have to start paying attention. Let me get this up close to the camera again. When you're working from now on, you're going to have this opening here, which is your treble from below. We're not working in this. We go to this next stitch here, and we're going to start our decrease in this stitch here. So I've already yarned over. I go right into that back loop on that one. Yarn over, pull through. Oh, my yarn over fell off somehow. Okay, yarn over. Go through the stitch. Yarn over, pull through. And go through two. And stop. Now, we just move on to the next stitch. Yarn over, go through. Pull through. Go through two and stop. And one more time doing that. Only in the back loops. From now on, you're pretty much working in the back loops only. Then yarn over and go through all four. Now we want to do three double crochets, back loops only. So, one, two, and three. And then in our last stitch, which was actually that chain three, so we want to find, let me zoom up here. Kind of this pink is a little bright, but we got it, I think. So you see, we've got this V here we came out of into the top of this one. Again, back loop only. We're going to be going in there. We want to put in three double crochets. So yarn over, go in there, go one. Oops. Couldn't quite get it in there. That's silly. Two <laughs> and three. Okay, so that is the end of the second round of the feathery part. Let me focus here. And you'll notice there's this ridge area. That's what makes it kind of reversible. Because both sides will have ridges. It will all look really cool. Trust me, in the end, it looks really cool. Especially it looks really good when you change colors. And I'm going to show you how to do that here in a minute. But we're on to round three. And round three is the important one. Because round three is pretty much repeated for the rest of the body of the feather. There is the decreasing rounds at the tip. But the rest, like to make your feather as long as you want, you just repeat round three as many times as you want. Um, I do about eight to ten. So we chain three just like before. Two, three. Turn our work. Again in this first stitch, this one right here, this guy, we want to put in two more but only in that back loop. Oop, right there. So put in one and a two. Perfect. So that counts as your three in the first. Now you do three double crochet, back loop only. So one into there, two, and three. So far the pattern's the same, but it's going to change here when we get to that treble. So now we do our decrease of three together. So remember, yarn over, go through, pull through, go through two. Then yarn over, go to the next stitch. Pull through, go through two, stop, go to the next stitch, yarn over, go through, pull through, go through two. And then you'll have four on the hook, pull through all four. Okay, so now here's where the treble changes. So you do a treble, so yarn over once, yarn over twice. Let me make sure we're good and focused here. But instead of going into the one below it, you actually go, from now on, you go two rows down. So skip this treble here. See, I'll pull this apart a little. That treble there, skip him. You want to go down to this one and do a front post. So you just go in from the right, come out the left, yarn over, pull through. And you want to do this kind of loosely so that it stands up nice and tall. Go through two, go through two, go through two. And you'll see it's going to create this kind of, I don't know if that's bone or cartilage that's on a feather that runs down the center that connects all the soft feathery portions but that's what we're creating by doing these front posts so you see so you got that now we want to do our decreases but remember don't you got to skip this area here this like you'll notice it's a big hole skip that one go to the next stitch and only in that back loop so just do half of that double crochet yarn over go to the next one just do half of that one <laughs> one more time and then you have four on the hook you pull through all four then you do your three double crochets so one two 
and three. And then in our last one, remember this guy right back here, just find that back loop. We're gonna put in three into that same stitch so that it matches the other side. One, two, and a three. And there you go. That is the end of the round three, and that is what you're gonna repeat from now on. So pretty much the same, you're gonna do your three in the corner, three, then your three crochets, three double crochets together, your treble, which comes down two rows, not one, but two. Then you do your decreases again, three, and then three in the corner. And that's pretty much it. And you can repeat that for to make your feather longer. The less you do, the shorter and kind of stubby it is, the longer, the longer it is, obviously. But right now I'm going to show you how um, to change color. It's really, really simple. It's not anything like brand new. <laughs> just thought I'd show you guys. So just yarn over, pull through, and then I get my little scissors. I cut a little tail here. And I pull it all through and I tighten it down. So that's there. And now I'm going to get my next color of yarn. And I'm going to stick with the color scheme I'm working with here. I'm get this light tealy blue. I like to put a little slip knot in. You do not have to. You could just yarn over and pull through, but I, I just like the slip knot. It makes me feel a little safer. So what we're going to do is just turn our work. Okay. Got my yarn in my hand here. We're going to find, let's focus this here. We're going to find this first stitch where we tied off. And remember, we only want this back loop. So we just go into the back loop. And if you're just yarning over, you could just yarn over. If you did a slip knot, just slide it on there. Take this down and you just pull it through and then you chain up your three. One, two, three. And that's your chain three. And you would just continue the repeat of round three the same way. So to do that, um, you know, I like to work over my two tails for at least half of the feather. That way I just don't have to weave those in. And how I do that is I just hold them here to the back. I'm going to yarn over, and remember you got to put in two more into here. So I do one double crochet, and two double crochet. And then I'm going to go ahead and just finish the, do this, do the repeat of round three. So round four, I'm going to do that here for you guys on camera, and then you guys can go ahead and make it as long as you want, and we'll meet back for the decreases. So next, it's a little hard to see when you got the strings, so just move them if you have to. Remember, back loops only, go into the next stitch. We're doing three double crochets. One, go into that next one. It's a little hard sometimes with the things, but working over them just makes it easy to, so that's number two. Find that next one. Uh, it makes it easy to not have to weave in those extra ends. So now we do our decreases, same as before. Yarn over, go through, except for just now you're going around those two ends. Only complete half of it. Go to the next back loop only. Kind of hard to see with those strings. But you'll see where I drop them here in a second. Go through two, stop. And one more time, last stitch here. Oops, make sure I go through on the right side this time. <laughs> go through and make sure those strings are in there. Yarn over, pull through. Oops, everybody's getting all discombobulated. Sorry, guys. Pull through two and then pull through four. And there we go. We made it to our center and now is when I stop working these tails in and I just leave them lay there and I'll show you here in a second where I cut them off so we're gonna do our treble now so yarn over two times not this one go down to the second and you'll start to see because the one below you isn't gonna have a ridged up area but the one below it is so just go around it from the right to the left yarn over pull through and remember go loosely so that it doesn't have any sort of tension and pulls your feather weird and just complete that treble okay now you work your other side just like we've been working them and we just yarn over and we do our we skip this hole here we do our decrease of three double crochets together through two go to the next one only go through two next one only go through two then you're going to pull through all four and then you've got to do three double crochets one two 
and number three. And then in this last stitch here, you want to grab that back loop only and put in three. One, two, and three. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to take my hook out. Well, let me pull my hoop a little further. So I'm going to stop just to show you this. And you're going to see here. So this is your colors. I had changed the color and you're going to see the colors are going to kind of come up onto each other on one side. On the other, I've got my little tails here. All I do at this point now is just trim them kind of close. Give it a little pull and it tucks them in really nice. And you see how the colors really do give the leaf or the feather. Why do I keep saying a leaf? Oh, today has been a day. <laughs> okay, so now all you have to do is continue repeating round three for make it eight to ten long or however long you want and then I will meet you back when it's time to decrease okay so I've made mine as tall as I wanted it you can see I added a strip of navy and now I'm going to finish off with this nice just creamy color so now we're going to start the decreasing rounds there are six rows of decreasing but they all get smaller as we go obviously so for the first one you're going to chain up three like you normally would one two three turn your work and just like we usually do, work in that back loop of the first stitch, but we're only going to put in one double crochet this time. Just one in there, not two. So we're only going to have two here. This is where we start our decreasing. So now we do, just like our other rows, back loop only. We're going to put in three double crochets. One. Two. And a three. Then we're going to do our decreasing back loops only then yarn over go to the next stitch only go through half of it yarn over go through the next stitch go through half you should have four on the hook pull through all four now you're gonna do your trouble just like before you go down skip the first one go to the second one down Remember to go keep your tension real, real kind of loose on this because you want it to stand up straight. You don't want to pull in the center. Now on the other side, again, you skip that big hole here. Go to this next stitch, back loop only. And we're going to start our decreasing on this side. Complete half of a double crochet. Yarn over, go to the next one. Complete half of that one. Yarn over, go to the next one. Then complete half of that one. And go through all four. Now we just do three double crochets again. One, two, and a three. Okay, hold on, my tension got a little tight there, sorry. Now in this last stitch, back loop only, right here, we just put in two double crochets instead of the three we've been doing. So one and two. Now for round two, all we do, chain up three, one, two, three, turn our work, do one double crochet in that same stitch, back loop only, so that you have two there on the end. Now instead of doing three double crochets, we just do two double crochets, so one, go to the next one, and a two. Then we do our three double crochet decrease. So yarn over, go through, complete half of the first one, yarn over, go to the next one, complete half of that one, yarn over and go to the third one, and complete half of that one. Remember, only in the back loops now. Yarn over, go through all four. So going in those back loops leaves this ridge here, a little ridge. That's what makes your feather um, reversible. I know I've said that before, but just want to re-say it. So now. We do our treble, yarn over once, yarn over twice, go down one, go down two, go from the right to the left, yarn over, pull through, go through two, go through two, go through two. Okay, so then we do our decrease on the other side. It's still three, so yarn over, complete half, go over to the next one, complete half of that double, go to the next one, complete half of that double. Go through all. Now we just do two double crochets Oops, lost my double crochet. <laughs> Whoa, lost it again. Wow. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you guys have had that problem on occasion too. Sometimes you're just doing something. You just get so focused. 
and keep dropping a stitch? Am I the only person that does that? Maybe. Who knows? Okay, so in this last one, we are going to go into that back loop because remember, we're only working in back loops. And we're just going to put two into that same stitch. Two. That was our second round of decreasing. So on to our third round of decreasing. I got my little notes here so I don't forget. <laughs> we're going to chain up three. One, two, three. Let me pull my tension again. Whoop. Turn our work. Round three. We're going to do one into that same stitch again, but back loop only. And now we just do one double crochet. Then we do our three double crochets together. Try to tuck that other side down so you guys can see. Back loop only. Complete half of a double crochet. Go to the next stitch. Complete half of a double crochet. Go to the next stitch. Complete half of a double crochet. And over, pull through all four. Do our treble. Down on this. Two rows down, front post. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Remember, keep it nice and loose there. Now we do those decreases. Remember, skipping this big hole. Back loop only on the next one. Complete half of one. Go to the next one. Complete half. Go to the next one. Oop, got a little tangle there. And complete half. Then go through all four. You've got one double crochet there. And then two double crochets on this last stitch. So one and uh, two. Okay, that was round three of our decreasing. So, round four, chain three. One, two, three, turn your work, and put one double crochet into that same stitch, back loop, back loop only. I feel like I'm repeating myself a lot. What do you guys think? <laughs> and now, all we're going to do is our three double crochet together. So, yarn over, go to that back loop on the next stitch, complete half of double crochet, Go to the next stitch, back loop only, complete half, yarn over, go to the next stitch, <laughs> back loop only, complete half, then you have four, pull through all of them. Then we do our treble, remember, front post, two rows down. Go through two, whoopsie, I lost it a little there, go through two, go through two. There we go, this feather's looking really cute. Now we do those three decreases again, remember, back loops only. So complete half of one, go to the next one, half of the next one, go to the next one, half of the third one, and pull through all of them. And then let me get my tension here, sorry. Get two double crochets in the last stitch. One, and one more. And you guys can really see now how it's kind of coming up and into that pointed area there, so... Just two more rounds and we are all done with this feather. So for round five, we chain three, one, two, three. Turn our work. Now we have been putting a stitch in this same stitch right here, but for this one, we're not gonna do that. We're going to skip that stitch and we're gonna do a double crochet two together instead of three, starting in the next stitch back loop only. So yarn over, complete half, yarn over, go to the next stitch, Complete half, you'll have three on your hook this time. Yarn over, pull through all three. Now we do our treble just like before. So yarn over twice, go down one, go down two, and that front post, go through two, go through two, go through two. There we go. Now on the other side, remember, we're gonna just do two, so we're gonna skip this big hole here. We go to the back post only, <laughs> back loop only, sorry, and go through half of the double crochet, do the next one half you'll have three on the hook go through all of them and then put one double crochet in here there we go see it's getting really small now so now we're going to complete our last set of stitches so it's super super easy all we do is chain two this time one and two and we're going to do um, we're going to yarn over, we're going to go into the same stitch, only in the back post, yarn over, pull through, I'm sorry, we're we doing 
a double crochet two together. So complete half of that. Yarn over, go to that next stitch, back loop only, complete half of that. Now we're going to stop. We're not going to complete these, but we're going to pretend we did. Now we're going to do a double treble. Double treble, okay? Not a treble, double treble. So you yarn over once, yarn over twice, that would be your treble. Yarn over three times, that is your double treble. Again, down two rows around that front post. So pull through two one time, pull through two two times, pull through two three times. We're going to stop. Leave those on there. Now what we need to do is a double crochet, two double crochet together on this ending one. So yarn over, go through one, complete half of it, go through this last one. Oh, and I'm sorry, it's a three together, not a two together. Ugh. Complete half of it, and then go into that last one, complete half of it. You have all of these on your hook, yarn over, pull through all of them and just chain one. And there we go. That is the end of it. See how it came together nicely? So now from here, what I like to do, I make sure that chain's really tight. I just pull through again one more time. Get my handy dandy scissors, give it a little snip. I pull through and then I take and push that knot down really snug up to the top there and it'll tuck in real well. So I think that turned out lovely. And the best part about these, the way you do the ribbing um, with working in those back loops only. So all I have to do now, obviously, is just tuck in these tails. But it gives you a completely reversible. So this one I think looks really cute this way, but if you flip it over, you get a whole different effect on this side, which I also think is really cute. So, I mean, both sides look cute. Let me give you just a close look. Let me set that to the side of the other three I did. Uh, this one was a little shorter. I wanted to show you guys a little bit shorter of one really cute again if you flip it over just a different look because of the way uh, that front post works out very cute this one all the colors are in their rows this one they all kind of go up one which I think is kind of cool uh, then I made this one which is kind of a lot like the one we just made just in reverse but <laughs> again on this side you kind of see where like the colors kind of go up one on the back Fairly similar on this one, but still really, really cute. I love it. And then this one might be my personal favorite. Um, I like this side best. But if you flip it over, now you have the darkers that kind of pop out, which I do like too. Got a little navy lint there. Sorry. I like them both. <laughs> I don't know. Which side's your favorite? I think this is my favorite side, but this side's still really pretty too. So yeah, there we are. You can do, again, I have to work in my tails on this one. Don't judge me on that. <laughs> You can do any sort of color combination you want. Um, and as you can see, I, I just used four colors and I played around with them in four different ways and they all turned out great. So there's our little feather. I thought that was, they're so cute and I loved making them. As you can see, you can do so many different um, patterns with your colors. And like I said, you can flip them over. They all look different on the other side. I absolutely love it. This one's probably my favorite. I absolutely love both sides. I mean, you get this like really dark side here, but then you flip it over. Kind of reminds me of like a feather or a fishbone. I absolutely, absolutely love this. <laughs> so I think they'd be great for a garland, um, for decorating purses, decorating, I know people do like Mandala dream catchers. I think they'd be great for just any sort of decoration where you want feathers. So if you guys give this a shot, I would love to see your feathers and the colors you guys used. Maybe you did something brighter and more colorful or even more neutral than I did. I don't know if this is neutral. I'm not sure. But anyways, if you try it out, I'd love to see pictures. You can um, either go over to the Facebook group, which is linked down below, which is the Proper Pineapple Crochet Group on Facebook. Or over on Ravelry, you can find me, um, you can find the Proper Pineapple um group on Ravelry or just me as Ms. Proper Pineapple. I'll put that look right here and you can share pictures with me and show me what you guys did. I would love to see it. Don't forget to check out our video for our giveaway this month. Always great prizes, tons of, you know, fun. I love doing giveaways and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I would love for you guys to just hang out with me and talk crochet all day. <laughs> Bye, I'll see you guys next time.